Yes, I think uh, Peter will be um, has done a very good thing by suspending his campaign and uh, physically visiting uh, the victims of flooding. He, he said he was suspending his campaign um, in honor of the victims of flooding in our country. And he did not stop at that. He took um, a ride to Benway State and he was seen in a canoe, you know, taking a ride to go and visit the victims of flooding. And this shows the humane side of the Labour Party presidential candidate. And, and I'm sure that um, a good number of people will have um, received his presidential ambition uh, warmly as a result of the, the gesture. Uh, people want to see our leaders show that they really mean well for the people, that they care for the people. And when a presidential candidate does this, it's, it's a big statement. I've, I've said it before that um, Peter will be undoubtedly has energized this campaign. In the past, it, it used to be a two-pronged race. But we now know that it is a three-pronged race, if not a four-pronged race. That is, if we bring in the presidential candidate of the NMPP. But Peter Obi has energized the campaign by the way it's been moving around our country and the way he's trying to sell his uh, candidature to Nigerians. Uh, it's the, no doubt about it, going to Benway after announcing on Wednesday that he was suspending his campaign in honor of uh, the victims of, of uh, flooding. It's a step in the right direction. Remember the UNICEF uh, announced that more than 600 Nigerians had died as a result of this uh, flooding. It's a much bigger problem than um, is being reported in the national dailies and, and, and by television stations. It, it takes going to the troubled areas to really feel the pain of the people. And Obi's advisors uh, did the right thing by getting him to not just suspend his strike, I mean his uh, campaign, but to be physically present um, to see how the people uh, are doing as a result of this unfortunate natural disaster.